Oriental Beauty Tea is exclusively grown and harvested on the beautiful island of Taiwan in the Western Pacific. Oriental Beauty Teas benefit from the honest, hard-working traditions of the island's ethnic Hakka, as well as the leaf's own delicately sweet, deliciously alluring fragrance. During the height of Victorian-era tea culture, Oriental Beauty enjoyed unparalleled popularity. Nibbles of the tiny leafhopper are the secret behind Oriental Beauty tea leaves' uniquely rich fragrance. The pesticide-free, clean environment required by these leafhoppers, together with painstaking leaf selection, hand-picking, and labor-intensive processing within 24 hours, ensures Oriental Beauty Tea remains a low-volume, high-priced boutique offering. Tea is an art that straddles the border between nature and science. And the tea maker is the all-important creative director. All finished teas reflect the skill, tastes, and dedication of their maker. Ume Township in Xinju County is home to Yaoliang Xu, a renowned master maker of multi-award winning Oriental Beauty Tea. Yaoliang invested the prime years of his youth in refining his tea making skills. Today, he expertly ferments every batch by hand, striving for perfection. His singular goal is to give tea aficionados high quality, finely textured Oriental Beauty teas that run smooth and satisfying on the palate. As a tea farmer, master tea maker and retailer Yao Liang Xu proudly puts his name on every package of tea he sells. Today, I'm here with friends to share my excursion into Oriental Beauty Tea Country. Mr. Xu has graciously volunteered to show us around. His tea fields cover the hills of three counties. The climate, soils, Topography and latitude here, he says, are ideal for growing exceptional Oriental Beauty tea. He also says that careful processing helps coax out the fruity, honeyed flavor notes that distinguish the very finest Oriental Beauty teas. Yao Liang has an active hand in plantation management, makes regular inspections, and uses watering systems to keep tea bushes well watered during dry spells. Further, his strict no pesticide, no weed killer policy and natural crop management techniques ensure optimal conditions for the all important leaf hoppers to thrive. Leafhoppers emerge in full force across Oriental Beauty tea plantations in early June and feed eagerly on tender tea leaf juices. Responding to this onslaught, tea bushes release into leaves a special chemical complex that will turn sweet during fermentation. The more leafhopper nibbles, the more chemicals released. And the more potential tender leaves have to become truly top-class Oriental Beauty Tea. A 600-gram measure of finest-grade Oriental Beauty Tea can use up to 30,000 tea leaf clusters, each one hand-selected by Hakka tea pickers, and work through the prickly morning heat to harvest the day's most tender leaves. Their experience and dedication are indispensable to the process of creating fine oriental beauty tea.
需要两梯 in Shinju County's Ome Township exudes a rustic, simple beauty planned and realized over decades by Yao Liang and his wife. Today, the 2,600 square meter facility integrates tea processing, tasting, and retail sales under one roof. Visitors are always welcome to experience tea making and see for themselves the dedication and quality that the couple have invested in this life's work. Xu Yaoliang Tea is a proud recipient of the highest five-star rating for environmental health and safety. Fresh tea leaf clusters from the field are first spread out on large bamboo trays and allowed to wilt naturally in the sunshine. Cell structures in the leaf break down to dissipate rough, leafy green flavors and allow tea aromas to come to the fore. Sunlight and humidity are carefully controlled to prevent browning. When weather and climate don't cooperate, Xu Yaoliang Tea has two indoor sunrooms that keep wilting teas protected from wind and excessive moisture. Adjustable sunshade netting controls UV heating and leaf burn while gradually dehydrating leaves to perfection. Following the two to three hour wilting process, leaf clusters are set on racks to rest for about an hour. After resting, tea leaves are hand-mixed for a period of time adjusted for ambient humidity and temperature. Although Yao Liang's wife admits hand-mixing is time-consuming and hard work, she says body temperature and fingers working the wilted leaves further stimulates deep tissue oxidation and maturation and gives brewed teas additional body and flavor. Hand-mixed teas stay fresh and retain their texture, flavor, and aromas much longer than machine-turned teas. After hand-mixing, tea leaves are piled together for several hours to warm up and begin fermenting. Fermentation is a natural decomposition process that gives teas their unique flavors and aromas. While waiting for leaves to finish fermenting, Mrs. Xu gave us a tour of the area. We visited the surrounding hills, the emerald waters of Ume Lake, local historic homes, and a century-old tea production house now run as a museum. It was a relaxing, memorable step back into the golden age of Taiwan's globe-girding tea trade. Yao Liang points to roasting as the most important step in the tea-making process. Tea leaves are properly heated to both halt fermentation and seal in natural aromas. While still warm, roasted leaves are packed into wet cloth and left to sweat, just enough for moisture in the stem to find its way up into leaves. While still in cloth sacks, leaf batches are twisted down tight and hand rolled in a firm but gentle process that further fractures leaf cell structures. With the hand rolling process now complete, leaves are separated and dried further to remove excess moisture. A high temperature air dryer 
dries leaves while protecting their shape and aroma. The final product is a colorful palette of autumnal red, yellow, white, brown, and green. Pico leaves show the five colors most prominently. Brewed, the tea delivers a crisp, smooth feel on the throat and full honeyed aroma, the signature charm of fine oriental beauty tea. From field to final packaging, it takes 24 hours to make every batch of tea. Teas picked this morning will be ready for shipment around the same time the following day. Rather than volume or speed, Yao Liang's focus remains on his grandfather's ideal of making teas that taste, smell, and look as good as they possibly can. With a passion for the details, Yao Liang gives his customers a high quality, memorable tea experience every time. Good quality tea never comes easily. Yao Liang confides that during harvest, they all work pretty much non-stop for up to 50 days straight. But he also knows that dedication and skill make it all worthwhile. Good tea, he says, will always find a welcome audience.